This is the new Really Right Stuff TFCX13 tripod. So Really Right Stuff is a company that started out as a camera company out of Utah. And shooters found out that they made some of the very most elite best tripods for shooting off of in the industry. In fact, the very top competitive shooters in the world shoot off of Really Right Stuff tripods. The military, um, I know a couple of years ago had a million dollar order into them for tripods. Uh, Special Forces guys are learning to shoot off of Really Right Stuff tripods standing at ranges out to a mile, pretty crazy stuff. Their carbon fiber is unlike anything else being imported from China. Their machining is top notch. There's more stability, less vibration in their stuff. And so even though there are lesser expensive tripods out there that are great and that are a good bargain for your money, that don't give you the quality that Really Right Stuff does. So Really Right Stuff is interested in getting more into the hunting market and they have just released this tripod. And this one is designed to be more of a spotting scope super duper lightweight tripod for spotting you can shoot off of it as you can see here it's not quite tall enough to shoot off of standing but there's an option for a riser that gives you about this much more that with a head actually even a guy my height can get down and shoot off of it for, for sitting kneeling prone weird positions on hillsides uh, this thing does all kinds of things. Each of the legs articulate all the way out to that. So you can actually use this as a tall tripod and sit on it. Um, all three of the legs do that. You can get prone with a rifle on this and then it's gonna be very stable for tripods. You can get it as a standalone model with no head. You can get it with an anvil head, which is my favorite for shooting off of and which is most popular for shooting. Also would work for a spotting scope. You can get it with a ball head and you can get it with a pan head for spotting scopes. And I'll show you those in just a minute. Before we jump into that though, I wanna weigh it and I wanna measure it. And this weighs, according to my scale, two pounds, 2.1 pounds, so not yeah, 2.1 pounds. So that's what it weighs. Let's measure it. So it looks like we're at um, right around 41 inches. I don't know if the ground's not quite level or not, but we're right around 41 inches. And then let's see how low or how narrow we can get this as well. So let's just, um, let me just roll these legs up real quick and let's just see how short this goes. So first of all, we'll do the, pa the pack length. So if you're sticking it in a backpack and carrying it, how short is just the tripod going to be? So we're looking at uh, 18 and a half inches is what we're looking at. So it's pretty short, compact. It's gonna fit in there. And then as far as how low will it go, like if you wanted to shoot prone or something, um, it's gonna go pretty darn low. So that is gonna be what we're looking at right there. So obviously that doesn't have a head on it, but that is less than three inches tall. So lower than the shortest tri uh, bipod for your rifle. So uh, very light, very stable, very stiff, uh, very uh, impressive quality. These are these guys are the best. Like, there's no question this isn't a Ford versus Chevy thing. These guys are the very best at making tripods. Everybody else is playing catch up with them in how these fold, in what the carbon fiber is, in the machining, everything else. All 100% American made in Utah. All right, so we're gonna take a look at a couple of head options. I wish I'd brought an Anvil 33 head because those are the best to shoot off of, but I don't have one with me today. Instead, I have a couple other heads. I have this ball head, which is a really right stuff. And this is the BH 30C ball head mount. And the really cool thing about this is, is you can fit Picatinny in here or Arca and it's quick to attach. So it just quickly snaps in and out. So this is an optional riser that gives you more height. As you can see it, you can adjust how much height it gives you. We're gonna install all this and then see whether shooting off of this standing is possible for somebody that's 6'2". So what I wanna see here is whether or not I could actually shoot off of this standing. And I actually could. So this is not like perfect, but I absolutely um, can get super stable staying off this. So in the mountains, in a situation where you need to use your spotting scope stand to shoot off of, get over brush, trees, that kind of thing. This, I'm 6'2", you have that little riser on there and I can absolutely 
get behind this to shoot off of it. So this is a sitting position. Obviously I can adjust the legs to go lower if I need to, and it allows me very stable position. Um, and this really doesn't get much more stable than sitting like this, where I can get knees down on my elbows, cross my legs, uh, super stable off a tripod. Let's, uh, let's try prone and then we'll try some uh, kneeling. Okay, so in the situation that you find yourself in with no front tripod or bipod, this will go plenty low enough to shoot uh, prone. It'll certainly go lower than this, but this is about where I'd be comfortable shooting prone. The other cool thing is, is that with this head, check this out. So I'm connected to an arca rail right now. So this is a Picatinny rail up here on the front. And I can lock in with the same head to a Picatinny rail. So check that out. Now it's out there further in front of me, pans, swivels, any direction. This is the ultimate bipod, except it's a tripod. So for those times when sitting is too low, standing is too tall, kneeling can be a great position off a tripod. It's super stable. All of those positions here in this tripod. So certainly prone, low prone, sitting, kneeling, it's gonna work great for all of those. It's gonna work great. Attached out further on your rifle if you need to. Uh, standing, it's a little iffy. If you add that extension, you can get there. I'm 6'2", I can make it work. Not as good as a big heavy tripod, but hey, this tripod only weighs 2.1 pounds. All right, let's stick some spotting scopes on it and see how it handles those. So I'm gonna switch heads. None of these heads come with this, and so you're gonna have to make a decision on what head you wanna get. The last one we were showing with the rifle was the ball head. My favorite's the anvil head, which I don't have with me today, but this is also the PT Scout head, and it's a super duper lightweight pan and tilt head. We're gonna use it with the spotting scope, so I'll show you how it works. Before we do that though, I wanna weigh it. Let me see if I can find a spot here to uh, hook this on and weigh it. Right, that'll work. So let me fire this up. We're measuring in pounds. So this weighs 0.5 pounds. So 0.5 pounds is eight ounces is what this weighs. So wait till you see the functionality. That's pretty impressive for that sort of weight. So we're just gonna screw this on here onto this tripod. So first things first, this handle comes in and out and you can screw it out if you don't want it on here. Uh, but this adjusts your pan the handle itself, you turn it and adjust your tilt. You guys have seen stuff like this before. First thing we're gonna look at is the very lightest spotting scope, basically that's the highest quality. It's the Pure Fluorite Kawa TSN 554. And it snaps right in here into this Arca rail. Same kind of thing we could hook the rifle into. This also will work with a Picatinny rail like what you have on your rifle. So this is just a hair tall for me right now. So I literally can just grab this leg and just pop this out just a tiny bit. And I can do the same thing on this one. And I can get this adjusted more to how I like it. So it totally just depends on what you're trying to do though. So at this point, it's perfect position for me to sit here and glass through, as you can see. The pan is super smooth, and I can adjust how much drag there is by adjusting this wheel. And then this is your tilt, of course, and you can make it as loose so that it's really loose, or you can get it right there where it's all buttery smooth. And uh, yeah, you can see. So it's gonna handle a very lightweight spotting scope easy. But I also brought the biggest, heaviest spotting scope that Cow makes today, and that's the TSN 99. This is a 99 millimeter objective lens. This baby gathers some light. It is, in my opinion, the best spotting scope in the world. Uh, I think this thing is amazing. And um, let's just see whether or not it will handle this. So we're just gonna kind of pan. I don't even need to adjust the legs. We're gonna just pan a couple things here and see if it'll handle the weight. So far, it's looking really good. So we're gonna pan left. I'm gonna move up just a little bit. Loosen this handle. That works great. So for this, I think this head is better than the ball head. So it's kind of a 
pick your poison. I like the ball head better for shooting off of Anvil 33, I like the best of both of them. So anyway, that's what we've got going on here, guys. This really right stuff, uh, TF CX 13, it's gonna work to shoot off of, it's gonna work to backcountry hike off of, it's strong enough to pitch your tent over the top of, and um, this is just the best quality stuff there is. Now, that does not come at zero price point. Obviously, as you guys know and have come to expect, the best quality stuff costs the most. It's American made completely. Just the tripod alone is $935. So it may not be for everybody. Certainly there's a lot of other budget options out there that, that will hopefully be inspired by this and be copying what Really Right Stuff does, which is, seems to be kind of what everybody's doing. But if you want the best, this is it. Go check out Really Right Stuff's website. It's the SOAR website you want. Really Right Stuff SOAR, S-O-A-R, is, uh, is the website for the shooting, hunting side of things. So appreciate you guys watching. Leave your comments, tell us what you think. Somebody has to be the innovative leader so that everybody else can copy them. Uh, it's this company right here. You learned about them here at Guns America's Hunt 365. Please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next one.